Hello, you're watching NewsX and I'm Ria Duvedi. Now let's take a look at the top story of the hour. In an update from the Indian Space Research Organization, the Spadex A and Spadex B satellites are now approximately 4 kilometers apart at maximum elevation. And the video has captured earlier today at around 5.47 a.m. This marks an important milestone in their mission as the two satellites continue their journey. ISRO's advancements in space exploration are once again making headlines. We have with us my colleague Brian Thomas joining us on the telecast. Brian, now we're seeing this major uh, satellite, this uh, ISRO Spadex docking, the satellite is showing that it continues to move an inch closer. So what's the latest that's coming in? Well, yes, the ISRO has announced now that two satellites come as close as now three meters during this very docking as part of the SpeedX mission. And following the trial, also the satellites are, were also moved to a safe distance for further analysis proceedings with the full docking uh, process. Now, in an update also, uh, ISRO stated that this attempt will be reaching to 15 meters and further to three meters is done and moving back spacecraft to a safe distance. Now, this docking will be done after analyzing the data further. The satellites, that is both SDX-01, that is Chaser, and SDX-202, rather, target, has approached each other up to 3 meters before being separated for safety. Now, ISRO has also emphasized that this is part, part of preparations for the main docking experiment that is that is happening, rather. And with detailed analysis will also be shown of the data that is underway. Now, during the approach also, the satellites captured stunning photos and videos also of each other which was shared by the agency. And this docking is uh, also a very technical uh, demanding process that is requiring precision as satellites also move and align to achieve what ISRO described a, uh, a, as an a, you know exciting handshake in space. And this was launched on December 30 aboard a PSLV C-60 rocket which is a SpeedX satellite that was placed in a 475 kilometer orbit and the mission also employs India's indigenously, uh, indigenously uh, developed Bharatiya docking system to execute the docking maneuver. And now if successful as well, India will also join US, Russia and China as the fourth nation to master this advanced space technology that is crucial for missions such as Bharatiya Antarik Station and Chandrayaan-4 as well. And post this docking, the satellite will also function as a single spacecraft with electrical power transfer from one to other to validate the success of the docking and the mission will also be deemed complete only after the satellites are un undocked and resume independent operations as well. Yes. We also have with us Group Captain V. N. Jha, former Joint Director, DRDO joining us on the telecast. Uh, Group Captain V. N. Jha, when it comes to this uh, uh, Spadex A and Spadex B satellites that are now approximately 4 kilometers apart at maximum elevation, what could you share with our viewers in terms of what it means and why it matters for future missions? Very good morning, Ria, and to all your viewers who are, are keen to view what is happening in the space, ISRO's venture. Uh, there are some uh, uh, misleading information is coming up. Now, this particular information, what has been shared by Digantara, uh, this uh, is slightly misleading because day first today and yesterday we had uh, uh, discussed on your channel that uh, the, the Chaser uh, spacecraft has been brought to as close as nearly three meters that we had debated yesterday. Now, Digantara has uh, shared today uh, some uh, pictures or some uh, scans taken uh, today at about 5 uh, uh, a.m. or so that it is four kilometers apart. Now, how did the uh, uh, spacecraft lag behind a four kilometer from the three meters position? Was it maneuvered back? And if it is maneuvered back for the uh, docking process, it will not go to uh, four kilometers back. There is no reason why it should be made to go four meters back. So this is one small, uh, you know, uh, uh, a chill sort of uh, uh, information what has come from Digantara. Digantara is not the ISRO. Digantara is a separate portal altogether. Whether how much of authenticity it has in its information, I'm not sure. Uh, even today morning, uh, I have checked up with the ISRO's uh, Twitter handle. They have not tweeted anything. Uh, their stand is as it was on day 4 today that they have brought this uh, spacecraft 
to about three meters uh, uh, separation and now they are reviewing all data and as i mentioned from three meters they would like to orient the, the chaser, chaser uh, spacecraft in a, uh, a profile in a position wherein all parameters are within one degree of uh, 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 error within one degree so that has to be acquired and then further it will be closing on to uh, the uh, the target for uh, docking that is what we had understood from the isro's uh, handle now how this digantara views has come uh, i'm uh, not aware uh, you can you know make uh, uh, inquiries with uh, uh, isro and then they have to clarify what is the position is it 3 meters still holding or they have taken the spacecraft back to 4 kilometers and it's a huge effort taking the spacecraft back back 4 uh, kilometer is a huge effort you know then you have to uh, slow the velocity of the spacecraft right now in orbit that spacecraft is traveling at about 17000 uh, miles per hour about you know 27000 uh, plus kilometers per hour it is about 7.6 or 7.7 kilometers per second from that velocity to for it to lag behind by 4 kilometers it has to be a uh, slow the moment velocity is slowed it will go back surely but it will also come down you know then then do you you aggravate the position what the spacecraft will be there for the subsequent docking you may go back to the square one so you may kindly uh, yeah you may kindly you know through your uh, 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 reporters clarify from uh, isro what is the position right now is it still holding at that 15 meters or 3 meters away from the target or has it gone back to 4 kilometers if it has gone back to 4 kilometer it is a uh, you know a uh, uh, problem uh, and they, they will be subsequently so uh, that is what uh, i think we should be slightly careful in uh, commenting on to uh, the the feeder what has come from the uh, agencies other than isro digantra is not uh, isro digantra is altogether a separate body they uh, keep on uh, posting once in a while uh, something about the space positions of the spacecraft but how reliable it is that i am not sure ria all right group captain vn ja when it comes to this mission it's how exactly is this a game changer for indian space technology as it it will demonstrate in space docking using two small uh, spacecraft so how could you share uh, when it comes to uh, viewers who want to understand how is this crucial for indian space technology if you could break it down for them for your viewers uh, i can again repeat i have already spoken earlier also this particular mission of spacex it is the uh, effort of isro for its future ventures future ventures when there will be indian uh, uh, space station and to that indian space station there will be a frequent a uh, visit by another spacecraft carrying either the crew or carrying the uh, supplies to that uh, uh, space station bharati space station as it would be called at that time whatever see uh, right now if the space station is made in the uh, in the uh, uh, orbit that will be about 400 odd plus kilometers above the surface of earth and when isro launches another uh, spacecraft in which either the crew will be there replacement crew or the first set of crew or some supply it will be going there and it's a very far away uh, you know as as it rotates around the earth it's a very huge uh, perimeter very long perimeter so it will be going and this effort of chasing on to the target is the effort of the a docking system that will be followed in the uh, in the future so there the the spacecraft that will be going to the thing it will be will have to dock it with there dock it perfectly and then seal it there and whatever is the content being carried in the uh, uh, spacecraft whether it is the crew or it is the uh, supplies that will transfer from uh, the 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 new craft into the space station that is already there and this particular effort of docking you know involves uh, many other things one isro in the present uh, system of spacex have given only about 1 degree of error uh, that is permissible 
so whenever it goes for docking it has to come within the parameters of uh, less than 1 degree error either it is in the linear axis or in the rotational axis so that is the first thing that it has to happen the moment it goes and docks it has to latch it has to uh, uh, it has to lock the the spacecraft and then there will be a ceiling around the entire uh, uh, interface that ceiling must be perfect that has to be tested and third right now the spacecraft which is as a chaser which is right now trying to close on to the target it also carries the uh, you know uh, the the solar uh, panels in which there are electricity generated and this electricity will be again connected with the same system of the docking into the uh, target aircraft so that all computers and everything remains functional in that so these are the processes and last but not the least again this has to try and undock you know the same system what goes tomorrow uh, you all know that uh, uh, sunita williams is now stuck in the all right group station. captain vn jan unfortunately we have run out of time thank you so much for joining us on the telecast and brian thomas as well moving